One of the most important things to developing an authentic audience and business is to be creating and sharing content consistently. Hopefully you have heard that message from me before. And I, it's, it's not just for creating an audience and a business, but also for your own creativity and growth. That is maybe more important than whether or not some piece of content get you more fans or get you more clients is are you becoming smarter, wiser, uh, more uh, comprehensive, more deep in your thinking about your field? And are you becoming more confident in communicating that message? So that's, I think, the most important thing. So when it comes to uh, content consistency, there are two dangers I want to talk to you about that tends to hold people back from becoming consistent. And the two dangers are ironically at the opposite ends of the spectrum. It, the, the dangers are about the results of your content, okay? And one danger is when you don't get enough response. There's nobody who is watching, there's nobody who is commenting or sharing or liking your posts. And then the other danger is when you become popular or, or when one piece of content gets really, you know, viral, right? So let's talk about each one. So when there is low response, of course, everybody wants to quit. You know, you think that you're, of course, you're not the only one who posts things out there and nobody likes it or nobody comments on it. That happens to people all the time. It happens to everybody in the beginning. How, how do you think anybody starts? Nobody starts with a huge audience, right? And you may have heard me talk about my, my side business. I started with zero also, which is why I wanted to do that experiment of could I build a new audience from scratch with something not related to business or marketing? And I have shown that to be, yes, that, that I, I am able to with the things that I teach. But you start from zero. Of course you start from zero. That's where everyone starts. So you're going to be posting stuff out there. Even the you know famous Gary Vaynerchuk, who is one of the most beloved and followed content creators online t tells about how for years he made videos uh, that few people watched not nowhere near his current audience but he kept going and that's my question for you are you willing to keep going when there is not a lot of response now there are things you can do about that okay you you if you learn how to distribute your content you will soften that, um, that, that sort of, uh, well, you will, you will make it more likely that you'll get response. That's that's because that's maybe a better way of saying it. So, so do you know how to distribute content? Okay. If you don't know how the easiest way, my recommended, my favorite way is through, can you guess Facebook ads, Facebook ads, still true in 2019 as it was in 2018, 2017, 2016, et cetera, et cetera. Probably going to be true in 2020, 2021, uh, 2022. I can't guarantee after that, but uh, I'm still very confident that Facebook ads is the easiest and most targeted way and the cheapest. So it's really the three easiest, cheapest, and most targeted way to reach the right people with your content. So do you know how to use Facebook ads? Because if you don't, you're, you're just, it's the easiest way. I mean, wh what other way do you know? Please comment below if you know an easier and cheaper way to reach the right people. Okay. Now I should say there is a, the cheapest way of course is through influencer marketing or not cheapest, but trading content promotions with other people who have an audience. Hey, I'll share your thing. If you share mine, that kind of trade, it has to be this similar sized audience. So if you have around 6,000 Facebook fans and you have a similar audience as me, please let's talk. Right. Um, plus or minus 2000. So if you have, if you have two to, if you have a plus or minus 3000, so if you have between three to, uh, three, three to 9,000 Facebook fans, let's talk and we can maybe trade content shares. So it, it, you know, um, that's the cheapest way of doing it. Cause you don't have to pay money. You're just trading with other people. And that's a great way of doing it too. I recommend that. I always, I talk about that as often as I can. Um, but it requires you to be in connection with other people and to, uh, you know, to reach out and, you know, you might get embarrassed. So it, there's a cost of rejection. That's the cost. Facebook ads, it, there's no cost of rejection, but there is a cost of $30 a month. 
So do you have $30 a month to get your message out there to the right people? I hope you'll say yes, because that's really super, super low cost when it comes to getting your content to the right people. Do you have $30 a month? If you do, please start using Facebook ads yesterday. Um, if you want to learn Facebook ads, I have a $100 course. The, you, you spend $100 with me, you'll, you'll save a lot more money over time because you'll be using Facebook ads a lot smarter. Um, most people don't use very well. So spend 100 bucks with me, learn Facebook ads, and then spend $30 a month. That's the cheapest, easiest, most effective way I know of getting content out there. Secondarily, uh, if you don't mind some rejection and some you know, uh, personal rejection possibly, reach out for trading content promotions with other people with a similar sized audience. But the problem, of course, is in the beginning, if you're at zero, nobody wants to trade content promotions with you because if you share your thing, they, you know, if you share their thing, <laughs> you don't have an audience yet. Or even if you have 100 people, you know, you trade content promotion, someone else with 100 fans, it's, it's very, very low effect, which is why, again, Facebook, Facebook ads is how we get started by building uh, the right fan base. And once we have the right fan base, then we can trade content promotions with other people with a similar fan base. So that's how we deal with silence, right? The silence is a couple things. You know, you, you, you need to commit yourself to a rhythm, knowing that there are going to be cycles of silence and popularity. It, there is this fantasy that, oh, if I just build an audience and everything will feel great, I just post things out there, people always respond well, everything is always like up, 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 doesn't really work like that. Um, I will always try to tell you the truth, right? And the truth is it's going to be like this, up and down. Now, it's going to be up and down, up and down, up and down, and then maybe trending gradually in the, in the, in the good direction. But you're going to have to suffer, right? Not hopefully not suffer, but you're going to have to experience the downs of my God, my you know. So that's the second danger I want to talk to you about: popularity. You post something out there, and maybe you've experienced this. You post something out there, and it does really well, and maybe you're surprised at how how many people like it and and comment on it or share it. And guess what? Now you're scared. My God. I don't want to lose this newfound attention and, and respect. My next thing got to be really good too. Okay, so I don't know if you've ever experienced that, but I have experienced that many times. And I've learned to just let go of attachment to popularity. I have plenty, plenty, I tell you. I mean, just even last week, I think, Probably both my, I don't remember, but, but at least in the past month, there have been several videos that have been gotten much lower response than I wanted, than I expected. Like much fewer of you liked it. I'm like, I, I'm always surprised, right? And when things do well, I'm also always surprised. So I have allowed myself just to be like, I don't know if it's going to do well. I don't know. And you don't know either if your thing is going to do well, your video, your post, your, con your product. You don't know. You have to only put it out there and let the audience tell you if they like it or not. And if they like it, just give thanks. Try to learn from that. What was the topic? Keep that in mind. Know that you'll do more on that in the future. But you can't expect that your next thing is going to do just as well or, or better. And the next thing and the next the next thing could be a complete flop. And this is where you have to have your own spiritual practice, right? Do you have a spiritual practice that will let you, so, oh, unattachment. Do you have a spiritual practice that allows you to detach from results of your business? Because if you keep doing business, you will succeed. But if you allow yourself, allow your emotions to be affected by the vicissitudes of business, up and down, up and down, up and down, you will quit. And by quitting, you don't get your chance at mastery, which means Mastery equals success, okay? So same thing with content. Will you have a spiritual practice that allows you to just unattach from, ah, oh, I put this, you're going to put this stuff out there every, you put something out there every day. Every single day you put, you put something out there. I do. I'm so, bu I'm so busy. I'm like, I have a full-time full business. I have all the clients I ever want and need. And my courses are selling well. I'm super busy. One person, I don't have any assistance. And yet I still put something out there every day. So what about you? 
unless you have a full-time job, if you have a full-time job, I, I get it, then maybe put something out there twice a week, okay? Because you only have two hours a week to spend on your business. I get it, all right? But if you have more than two hours a week to spend on your business, why are you not putting something out every day? On your Facebook business page, on your YouTube channel? Not, okay, YouTube channel, I, I, can, I can say, I, I'm focused on just one place. One place for your business where you put something out every single day. Now, you don't have to, you don't have to sit and, and go to your computer every day. You can take a Sabbath if you want. You could just simply, simply schedule something to go out every day. It doesn't have to be a brilliant 2,000 word blog post, no. It can be a lightly written 200 word post, 300 word post, okay? Every single day, put something out there. Uh, I'm not the only one to say this. Seth Godin, who is well regarded as one of the most uh, you know, uh, effective and, and uh, truthful marketing teachers online, says the same thing and he he models it too he is a bit busy busier than me he has dozens of books published he has classes workshops running all the time and lots of huge consulting clients he puts something out every single day on his blog every single day a blog post now his blog posts don't have to be long sometimes they're quite short but it's every day okay so so every day is easier than once a week again if you have more than two hours a week to work on your business Okay, let's say you have five or 10 hours to work on your business or even more, then putting something out every day is easier than putting something out once a week. Why? Because there is no question when you have something that's a daily rhythm. There's no question. You don't have to question, oh, am I gonna do it today? My once a week, is it gonna happen today? Or is it gonna happen another day? Or, oh, I'm so nervous that my Wednesday post is coming up. No, it's just every day you put something out. No matter if it's good or not. That's the other thing. No matter what no matter what no matter if it's good or bad and that's something that's that's something i love talking about with my clients too how do you know something's good or bad there's two two ways to know if something is good or bad either you judge yourself or you allow others to judge that thing okay that's it right you either judge yourself, and, and usually we judge ourselves and go, this thing is not good enough to put out there, so I'm not going to. That's not how business works. That's not how marketing works. Marketing doesn't work with your inner critic. Your inner critic is usually amazingly outdated because it was your mom. It was your teacher from first grade. It was your coach from whatever. It was your boss. Your inner critic is super outdated. It's not up with the market. You know, we know who's up with the market? The market is up with the market. The only way to know if something's good or bad is truly, for marketing purposes, is to put it out there. So you have to stop judging your, yourself. Your inner critic can talk all at once. My inner critic talks all at once. I'll say, oh, that's interesting. Thanks, goodbye. Not listening to you today. Just not listening to you. I'm just, I'm, I'm pressing post. I don't care. Pressing post. <laughs> okay, thanks, inner critic. I appreciate your care and concern, but that was from first grade. Or that was from, you know, when I was six, or that was from when I was 15. That was from when I was 25 and had a harsh boss. That's not relevant today. I don't know what the market's going to say. I'm going to press publish. I'm going to press start live video. I'm going to press uh, post and kind of see what the market says. So back to the, the topic of this video. Beware of low response and that's not, no, that's natural. You have to understand how to distribute content, practice doing it, and then just, just, just keep going every day. Post something out there every single day. Distribute, post, distribute, post. And then the second, the second danger is popularity. Know that popularity is going to be like this. Some of your stuff is going to go really wild, and some of your stuff, you're going to be like, I thought this was really good. Nobody liked it, or two people liked it. I thought there was going to be 20 people who liked it, two people, or one person liked it. My mom, or my best friend, or my, my coach, or my you know, supportive fan. One person liked it. Okay. It's going to be like this all the way up until success. All the way up, and I mean, success is the whole journey. The whole journey, the fact that you post something every day is success. The, post that you, you, the fact that you post something today is success. Not every, don't, don't worry about tomorrow. Worry about today. Not, don't even worry. Just post something today. That's it. So that's how you remain creative. That's how you remain on the path of mastery, which is what you need to do to reach authentic success is mastery. It's actually serving other people in a way that they want to be served, that they can't wait to be served by you. So I hope that's helpful. 
And uh, thanks for those who are joining me here for the live video. Um, Tina, Sarah, Dan, Ida, Sharon, Linda, Gail. Thank you so much, everybody, for your, for your uh, participation, for your comments. And uh, until the next video, you know what to do. Create and share every day or at least have something out there every day you can you can create share one day of the week that goes out for the rest of the week using Facebook Facebook business page you can schedule posts out as far as you want um, that's really where I recommend doing it because Facebook ads is the easiest cheapest most targeted way to reach new people um, but yeah that's my recommendation all right be well and get out there and know that you are on the path of mastery and if you keep going you will reach authentic success in your field. Blessings.